28 December 1941. The Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia, somewhere east of Prague. The Czechoslovak paratroopers, including Josef Gabčik and Jan Kubisch, land in the Nazi-occupied territory with one objective. To kill Reinhard Heydrich, acting governor of the Protectorate and the Nazi architect of the Holocaust. Reinhard Heydrich was born on 7 March 1904 in Halle, then part of the German Empire, into a rich musical family of a composer and opera singer, Bruno Heydrich. Reinhardt had a passion for the violin and was bullied at school for his high-pitched voice and rumored Jewish ancestry. Although Reinhardt became an expert swimmer and fencer, he was shy and insecure. After the end of World War I, Heydrich's family faced financial crisis and in 1922, Reinhard Heydrich joined the German Navy, which provided him with much needed security and income. He caught the eye of his superiors and promotions followed soon after. Reinhard Heydrich became known as ambitious, arrogant, and having a passion for women. After a naval court found him guilty of misconduct when he refused to marry a woman with whom he was engaged, Heydrich was dismissed from the Navy in April 1931. Soon after, he joined the Nazi party and the SS, and in December 1931, he got married. Heinrich Himmler, chief of the SS, was immediately impressed with Reinhard Heydrich, who, with his blonde hair and blue eyes, had the look of a perfect Aryan. Himmler hired him immediately, and under Himmler's mentorship, Heydrich quickly became one of the most important figures of the Nazi regime. Reinhard Heydrich also belonged to Hitler's inner circle at Berghof, which was Adolf Hitler's vacation residence in the Bavarian Alps from 1935 until 1945, and Hitler's nickname for Heydrich was the Man with the Iron Heart. It was a much-deserved nickname, as Heydrich became one of the darkest figures within the Nazi regime. In 1936, Heydrich not only helped to organize the Nazi Olympics, but he became one of the most powerful men in Nazi Germany when Himmler appointed him the chief of the Gestapo, which was the official secret police of Nazi Germany and the SD, which was the intelligence agency. Heydrich was also a driving force behind Kristallnacht, or the Night of Broken Glass, which was a series of coordinated violent riots against the Jews throughout Nazi Germany between 9 and 10 November 1938. The Nazi SA and German civilians ransacked Jewish homes, businesses, synagogues, hospitals, and schools. It is estimated that 91 Jews were murdered and 30,000 Jewish men were arrested and imprisoned in the concentration camps by the Gestapo and the SS on the order of Reinhard Heydrich himself. It was also Heydrich who organized the Wannsee Conference, which was held on 20 January 1942. The purpose of this meeting of senior government officials and the SS was to ensure their cooperation in the implementation of the so-called final solution to the Jewish question, which was a Nazi plan for the genocide of European Jews during World War II. Here, Reinhard Heydrich introduced his evil plan of how to round up Jews and send them to extermination camps where they would be killed. On 27 September 1941, Heydrich was appointed Deputy Reich Protector of the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia, which was the part of Czechoslovakia incorporated into the Reich on 15 March 1939. The Reich Protector, Konstantin von Neurath, was sent on leave because of his soft approach to the Czechs. After Heydrich arrived in Prague, he told his staff, we will Germanize the Czech vermin. Reinhard Heydrich demanded racial classification of those who could and could not be Germanized, and he had no mercy with the Czechs. To fight the Czech resistance, Heydrich terrorized the population. Hundreds of people were executed, and thousands were arrested. To exact retribution for Heydrich's brutal rule, and to help confer legitimacy on the government in exile, Edvard Benesch, the president of the Czechoslovakian government in exile approved the assassination of Reinhard Heydrich. This assassination was codenamed Operation Anthropoid. After months of preparations, Josef Gabčik and Jan Kubisch, 
attacked and wounded Heydrich when he was being driven to his headquarters in Prague on May 27, 1942. Heydrich was in his convertible Mercedes when Gubchik tried to shoot him with his submachine gun. However, the gun jammed. Instead of ordering his driver to accelerate, Heydrich ordered his driver to halt and then Heydrich stood up and drew his pistol. This was a fatal error of which the other assassin Kubisch took advantage and threw a modified anti-tank grenade at the car. Heydrich was severely wounded. Soon after, with his face pale and screaming in pain, Heydrich was taken to the emergency room at the hospital. Heinrich Himmler sent his personal physician Karl Gebhardt to Prague to serve his loyal, evil henchmen. However, Gebhardt refused to treat Heydrich with sulfonamide, which was an early antibiotic, and as a result, Heydrich contracted an infection and died eight days later. Reinhard Heydrich's funeral in Berlin was attended by all the high-ranking Nazi officials, including his superior Heinrich Himmler and Adolf Hitler himself, who spoke at the funeral and promised revenge. The Nazis were desperately looking for the assassins, and thousands of people were arrested. Soon after, the Gestapo obtained a love letter which they incorrectly linked to the village of Lidice. The following destruction of the village and the execution of its citizens occurred on June 9, 1942, on Hitler's direct order. In total, 340 inhabitants of Lidice were slaughtered, 192 men, 60 women, and 88 children. All the men and boys were shot and buried in one common grave, and children were murdered in gas vans at the Chelmno extermination camp. Four pregnant women were forced to undergo abortions in the same hospital where Heydrich died. In the end, some kind of justice was served. On 21 May 1946, the People's Court in Prague sentenced Karl Hermann Frank, the Nazi Minister of State for Bohemia and Moravia, who was among the top leaders responsible for the massacres in Lidice and Lejaki, to death by hanging. Seven surviving women from Lidice sat in the front row to watch without pity as Karl Hermann Frank was hanged. Although justice can never bring back the lives of the Lidice victims, it was only after Heydrich's assassination that the United Kingdom and France agreed to dissolve the Munich Agreement and return the annexed Sudetenland back to Czechoslovakia after the Nazis would be defeated. Thanks for watching the World History Channel and don't miss our next videos. Click the subscribe button now for more interesting clips. Give us a like and see you in the following episode.